Hey, in this video, we will create this uh, 3D logo effect in Photoshop CC. So it's an older version of Photoshop. I think it's uh, it's 2014 or 15. I think it's a 14 version. So it's a 32 bit and it's a CC version. Actually, I'm trying it in uh, all of the versions of Photoshop. So if you don't have some versions, if you have Photoshop CS6, so there is a video on my channel for the same effect. If you have Photoshop CC 2017, so uh, uh, we can create the same photo effect in uh, that version. So video is also available on my channel. And now I am going to try this in Photoshop CC 2014. So let's start our work. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and let's start our work without wasting any kind of time. First of all, we need to create a new file. So we'll go to file, new, we'll create a new file. Uh, the name of the file should be uh, logo and uh, logo one actually. So uh, the size will be 9020 by 1080 pixels and uh, oops. So, uh, the size will be 9020 by 1080 pixels and uh, resolution is 72 pixels per inch you can increase it up to 300 dpi or we can say that 300 pixels per inch and uh, that's it uh, the background contents i am going to leave it as transparent and we'll click on ok and the file will be created so there we have uh, we have empty file so we need logo so you don't need to download that logo we just need to go to custom shapes from the shapes uh, tool and you will click on this shapes and uh, you will see lots of shapes if you don't see these all shapes just click on this gearbox and you will see uh, these all kind of uh, shapes so you will just need to click on all and it will uh, show all the shapes available in photoshop so that's it and we need to find out our required shape so let's just see where is our required shape so there we have our shape and uh, we'll simply just press and uh, hold shift key from your keyboard and click and drag it on our canvas right like this not so much big just a little bit like this and now uh, that's it now we will select our move tool first and select Control plus A, uh, it will create a selection around your canvas. And now we will simply just click on this uh, align vertical and then align horizontal. So that's it. Now it's in center. Now press Control D to deselect this selection. And now we'll name this layer as a uh, logo. And then we will create a new layer and uh, we'll call this layer as BG, uh, as we call we can call it as background and now we will fill it with a white color so that's it and now we just need to switch our uh, this 2d logo to 3d so uh, go to 3d and just click on new 3d layer from selected file or we just didn't select the main file so our main file is this 3d logo so we'll go to now 3d and click on new 3d extrusion from selected path because our shape layer is uh, on path so we will make our 3d logo it will follow all the paths so we'll click on new 3d extrusion from uh, selected path and we'll click on yes we want to switch our 3d uh, workspace and that's it now we are in 3d workspace now we'll click on 3d uh, one thing i would like to mention is uh, if you don't have this 3d enable uh, so keep in mind that if you have a, a video card or we can say that a video 3d card and uh, you don't select this uh, if you don't uh, if you are not able to select this menu uh, uh, it's maybe problem with your Photoshop so how we can fix that is just go to my uh, there is a video uh, which is called as a uh, uh, enable 3d menu without any kind of virus so it's just a crack file you just need to replace that and that's it the 3d will i hope uh, enable so 
after replacing the file you just need to go to uh, close the photoshop and restart this and you will see the 3d menu will appear here so anyways let's get back to our tutorial and uh, we will select our logo uh, we can say that layer these are layers actually and we will take it uh, uh, down the size is very bigger as we can say that this is the depth of our logo so we will leave it to about uh, 1200 to check if it is uh, nice it's too much at this time so we'll call it as uh, 800 yeah that's uh, that's pretty much uh, fair or we can say that uh, 900 yeah that's nice so click on enter and the size is applied now we'll select our logo front inflation material the first layer in logo uh, we'll select this uh, specular and we'll change the color uh, to like uh, blue color like this color is nice instead of blue so click on ok and now we will select uh, from the bottom of these uh, layers panel select logo back inflation material and then sh press and hold your shift uh, shift key from your keyboard and uh, select the logo base uh, back bevel material and logo extrusion material and that's it these three layers should be selected now we will select diffuse we need to give this a color diffuse mean the color of this uh, uh, we can say that uh, back so we'll uh, color it about like uh, i think it the color should be uh, this kind of color is nice and after that uh, select the specular the specular is actually uh, a color uh, i think it's a uh, yes it's a light which will reflect on the canvas so we would like to make this light about like little, little green is nice that's cool and now click on ok that's nice and we'll increase the shine to about 50 percent and we will close this the basic work is done and now we need to get our uh, background layer so we'll select go to layers panel and right click on on our background uh, layer and we will convert this to postcard so once it's converted into postcard we will select both of these layers you know all the procedure we will press and hold shift key select these both layers and press ctrl e we will merge these both layers into a single layer and that's nice and now we'll get back to our 3d panel and you will see all the detail now the every uh, everything is done here uh, but i would like to increase some shadows so we'll go to environment and right inside the environment uh, you will see the uh, shadows so we'll increase the opacity to about like uh, 80% or you can uh, fix this to 85% that's nice we don't need reflections we don't need roughness because uh, it's a simple work and uh, you know all the all kind of these things so that's it now the only work is click on filter and oh sorry go to 3d and we need to click on uh, render uh, this uh, scene so we'll click on render you will see it will take a little time uh, to start and once it started you will see the rendering process is going to start it will take a little time to complete uh, the process so we will wait for the process to complete its work it will take a lots of time you will see there is a lot of noise because most of the comments i have read is uh, that uh, all the most some people are asking about how to remove this uh, grain so actually this grain will be automatically removed from the uh, this uh, canvas because uh, this uh, this grain is actually a reference points so it could be easily defined the 3d shape so that is the basic purpose of this uh, noise once it's uh, finished its rendering it will uh, uh, i'm sure that it will uh, remove all the grain so it will take a lots of time so we will wait for the process to complete its work
okay so the process is completed now and you can see the final results so first of all we'll go to layers right click on this 3d layer and we'll convert it into a smart object and that's it the basic thing is done now and now what we will do is we will simply just go to our workspace and we'll get back to our default workspace which was essentials so that's nice now we have a default workspace and let me just show you there is no noise or these kind of things you can see there's no noise or grain you can see it's clean at this time and pretty much nicely done and that's it now what we need to do is uh, obviously we'll create a new layer call this layer as a uh, front then we'll go to uh, magic wand tool by pressing W from your keyboard and click uh, oops, sorry we need to select the layer BG layer then click and select the front areas of our logo make sure that you have selected uh, precisely very nice same thing for this very good so once you selected that uh, select the front layer and fill it with any color don't be worried about that we'll press ctrl D to deselect that we'll turn off the fill and now we will go to uh, select our front and select the effects and click on uh, I think color overlay would be better and uh, that's it now we will change the color to uh, I think it's nice but we will not make it too much uh, darker that's nice now we will uh, make it smaller a little bit apply a gradient tool on it and we will change this uh, to 75 degrees that's nice then we will select uh, inner glow and make this color uh, white and that's nice now we will simply just uh, make this to soft light or uh, overlay overlay would be better and that's nice and now we will select a um, let's just increase the size that's nice looks great and now we will simply just uh, uh, select our bevel and emboss we will change this shadow to uh, screen we don't need these shadows we need only white colors and that's nice cool everything is fine but we need to give some light uh, effects so we'll select this one so that's great so hit ok and that's much better what we want to see and uh, need to change the overall color so we'll just go to uh, color balance from the color balance we'll just change it to yellow then we'll change it to this color and then we'll change it to green not so much but just a little bit and then we we'll change it to uh, the highlights then we we'll change the shadows that's it so this is the basic logo which we have created inside Photoshop you can change the color of our logo by just changing the color overlay or you just need to go to this uh, double click on this and select and change the midtone colors it will automatically change the color of our logo don't make it too much green and also don't make it too much small then if you want to target some colors you just need to select and take it under under this it would be nice or if you want to make it top it's it's your choice totally your choice and after that we'll just select our selective colors from selective colors we'll go to greens a little bit and we'll check if it could be uh, applyable and we'll make it a little bit more darker and visible I think it's nice yeah then we'll change it to 
yellows and I think it's uh, that's nice the neutrals you can change back to uh, neutral you can see that's uh, this the neutral uh, just show you this is the neutral color um, you can color or color overlay this color like uh, if you want to make kind of changes I think that's that's much nicer so great uh, it's your choice how you like to make this logo and I'm very much satisfied with the color and uh, this logo and I hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe because we are going to touch 10,000 subscribers soon and uh, that's a great achievement because uh, it's been going down in just in six months and thank you so much for the great support and i hope you will keep supporting me and thank you so much for your patience and uh, see you in next video and uh, never stop never depend keep learning